the exact differential equation. Step number one, the function that got the x, call it m. And the one that have the y, call it n. Both function having x and y in it. Step number two, take the partial derivative of m with respect to y and take the partial derivative of n with respect to x. When you do this, you're about to test if the function is exact. You can observe that the function with the x will be partially differentiated with the y and the function that has the y will be partially differentiated with the x, just the opposite. I will go to this function of m and be partial against x. I will just respect y. Hence, I will ignore this because it has no y. Going to this, I will just go and differentiate y and my answer is 1 remaining 4x. Next, I will go to the function of n. Then this time around, I will be partial against y. I will respect just function having x. And if you differentiate this, you are going to get 4x. Because both are the same answer. Hence, this is an exact differential equation. Next, I will integrate m with respect to x. Then I will integrate n with respect to y. This is also a partial integration. I'm integrating this m with respect to x, which is the original x, and I'm integrating n with y, which is the original dy. Integrating this partially with respect to x will give you x to the power of 3 for this, plus integrating this partially, just only the x, I'm going to have 2 x square y but because i was partial to y hence is going to be a constant that is y function also i'm going to integrate this partially with respect to y hence plus i will integrate this partially and i will have but because i was partial against x is going to be a constant which is a function of x. Next, take the partially integrated function of m as your answer. This becomes our answer. Next, replace this h of a function of y. Compare the two integrated function. We have 2x square y and we have 2x square y. This will be equal to which is this and your g of x will be equal to x cubed however we are after this so this is equal to y to the power of 2 hence our final answer becomes this is our final result if you decide to go the route of testing for exact integrate differentiate the function compare integrate to get your h function of y then you now find the final result you will still obtain same result as this i will see you in the next video